Hello, it's Petra Foster here. Today we're going to be talking about how long does it take to submit your CQC application and supporting documents and then to get an interview date. That's what we're going to be talking about today. So let me tell you what I do and who I am. So I'm Petra Foster and I help property investors, um, social workers, clinicians, general practitioners, um, mental health nurses, nurses, anyone in the medical field, as well as entrepreneurs that want to start a CQC registered supported living business. And I take them through the entire process, the entire process. Okay. So let me share with you what's been going on right now with my mentees. So at the moment, I have got five mentees that have submitted their CQC application. Okay. Now, I had um, a mentoring call with one of my clients this week. And since work, she started working with me and she has the date. It was the 6th of June. She started working with me on the 6th of June. And it is now the beginning of August, I think. I can't remember what day it is today. Okay. But the 6th of June, she started working with me. And she said she can't believe how quickly that things have happened for her in terms of submission of the CQC application. Um, and she was, the reason why she was like really happy and elated about it is because she wanted to start this business in 2020. She had the idea in 2020, but because of procrastination, because of not knowing what to do, even though she did all the research, she just literally just couldn't do it. She didn't know how to put all of the pieces together to, to open. And then she was like, Petra, I can't believe how quickly it's done. Um, we've submitted the CQC application and we've also submitted a tender for her local authority. And she, the way she, the way she was right, so happy on the, on the, on the, on the Zoom and how she was just like really smiling and really happy. I was thinking, my God, that is amazing because, you know, I do what I do because I mentor and I consult because I enjoy it. Um, and I've got a system and it works. So, but it's all, it's always nice to hear other people's, well, my clients' responses to how we do, how I do work with them. So that's that's her. So hers, her, her application has been submitted. OK, it's been submitted. Now, I have another client that she started working with me in June and she is having her CQC interview next week. OK, so around the 8th, the 10th of, of August. So that's when she's getting her um, having her interview. So if we're talking about the timelines, the realistic timelines, let's think about, okay, so how long does it take? Okay. So realistically, now, if you're working with me, right, because obviously we're talking about me and my clients. <laughs> so if you're working with me, when we have a consultation, I always say to, I always say to you that the goal is for you to submit your CQC application and or supporting documents within four weeks of starting with me, within four weeks, okay? So that's what I aim for with all of my clients for them to be submitted in four weeks. Now, what happens with my clients now is I go through the CQC application, the statement of purpose, the business plan, and all of the supporting documents. Tell them exactly what to write in it, what boxes to tick, what boxes not to tick, all of that, okay? And then um, they, go, they go away and do it. They do all the paperwork and they bring it, they show it to me, they email it back to me, and then I will make any corrections and then any corrections that um, are needed, they, so now they do the corrections and then I check it again. And when it's all correct, then they submit it to CQC. So when they submit it to CQC, um, two things will happen. The first thing that will happen is CQC is requesting additional information. And I tell my clients, anytime that you get a email back from CQC, email me immediately and I will help you with the response. And um, the second thing that will happen is that 
they'll get an email saying, congratulations, you have passed the initial stage of the CQC application. And now we just basically, um, now it's going to be, the application is going to be sent to an inspector and you'll get contacted for your interview. Okay, so that's what happens. And then the interview date now is usually about, I would say about 12 weeks. It can, it can be 12 to like 14 weeks just to get an interview back. Okay, so I would say it can take, it, it takes about what, two months or so, just over two months to um, submit your application and then get a response back in terms of the interview date. Now, why this is important, because I have consultations all the time. So you can just go to my website, Petra at Petra Foster, no, PetraFoster.com. And then um, you can book a consultation with me, right? Now, oh my God, do you know how many people that I speak to on a weekly basis that say, oh, Petra, you know, I've had the idea to set up a supported living business since 2019, since 2020, since two years ago, and I just haven't done it. I haven't done it. And that saddens me, to be honest with you, because like, I'm thinking, well, why? Why haven't you done it? Like, why is it taking you so long? Why are you taking you so long? So this is what I don't want you guys to like. I don't want you to do that, okay? So I don't want you to be procrastinating. I don't want you to be overthinking anything. If you want to start a business, whether it's this business or whether it's something else, you have to commit to it. You have to commit to the idea. You have to commit to working towards it. And you've got to commit to doing the work. Okay, because otherwise you're just going to be stuck in this exact same place that you are now. You're going to be in the exact same job that you're just not happy with. The exact same money that you're just not happy with. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, why, why live that life? Why be in a job that you really don't like and that you don't want to be in? People that contact me are entrepreneurs they're business owners but they just need to know how you just need to know how okay so when i started my um supported living business i decided to start it in Fe in february 2019 and i opened it in august 2019 that's what i did no procrastination here why because i commit and i want you to commit i want you to keep to the promises that you make for yourself okay that's what i want you to do and i want you to say yes to yourself now so if you've been wanting to start this business or any business say yes to yourself and do it say yes to yourself and do it keep the promises that you make to yourself okay and also if you know that you're the kind of person that needs support to do that you cannot do it by yourself then send me a message okay you can send me a message on instagram my instagram is petra foster underscore and you can even send me an email petra at petra foster sorry petra at petra foster.com and let's get this started now let's get this started you know i say to my clients and i say to everybody my clients my friends everyone that's around me is that <clears throat> every single six months your life has to elevate your money has to elevate your um, mindset has to elevate, your um, social life has to elevate, you know, your career, everything. Always think of it like that, that every six months I have to be doing something I wasn't doing before. I have to be able to achieve. I have to be able to achieve a goal that I've set for myself. OK, I work in sixes. I believe that we can make changes in any aspect of our life within six weeks, six months, 12 months. That's what I personally believe. Okay. Now, when it comes to submitting your CQC application, working with me, you're going to submit it within four weeks. Okay. And also, if we write your tenders for you, we write your tenders and we submit them. Okay. This is super important because if, when you have a CQC registered supported living service, you need to have a local authority contract and be on a framework so that you can start getting service users in on a consistent basis. All right. And this is what I teach you 
in my 12 months mentoring. My 12 months men mentoring program, it's called Supported Living to Freedom, where I support you with passing your CQC application process, getting your tenders, getting your clients, okay, and staffing and teaching you how to be the CEO of your company, teaching you how to be the boss. You deserve to be the boss. You deserve to have people working for you, okay? You deserve to have people literally applying to work with you and you be the boss, okay? That's what we're looking for and that's what we're aiming for. All right, so I'm Petra Foster and I will speak to you soon. Any questions, write them in the chat below. And remember, you can also follow me on Instagram. I do talk more about business, like generally on Instagram. So you can look at my stories. So that's Petra Foster underscore. Okay, speak to you soon. Bye.